Tristan had one the other day, Mvula, about four days ago. So I'm going to sit here very patiently and wait. I'd like to show you just a picture that I managed to get of this male and show you the scars um, from the fighting. So I, I think a lot of you agree with me. This is Tingana based on that 5-5 five, five spot pattern. Um, and then also just look at the scarring above the eye and around the nose. There's some serious, serious cuts. So he has been fighting with somebody, but you see the spot pattern above the whisker line just over there. And um, one, two, three, four, you see that? So those two are merged and there's a very faint one over there. So it is five on this side and it's very similar on the other side, five, five. So I think a lot of you agree that this is Tingana. Which is great. We just needed to, we just needed to come out the bush for us. <laughs> but that's exactly what we've been saying. That's why it's been so difficult to find leopards is because when they disappear and they lie in a thicket like this, you're not going to see them. We will drive past you a thousand times and you will never spot this leopard. Um, it's incredible how they can disappear. But that is why... So I thought I heard something, that, but that is why they are so elusive. So we'll see. Maybe maybe he decides to move out for us. Who knows? Wonderful to find him though this morning. I'm so glad we did see him. Maybe maybe as the day moves uh, goes on, he does decide to move. He's probably been covering a lot of distance during the course of the night. He's been moving around. Scent marking, so that's why that's why they decide to rest. 